access at matv.org. Welcome to Pet Lovers Paradise, a world of furry critters at their best. I'm your host Priya, along with my furry friend Maya. Hello. Welcoming you to our show. <laughs> Viewers, today we have a very special guest from MATV with us, Anne, along with her dog Sammy. Hi. Hi Anne. Nice to be here. Great. Welcome this to our Sammy. show. This is Sammy. Mm -hmm. um, Sammy hey. right now is very obsessed at lo looking at Maya because mm -hmm. he really loves cats. That's they wonderful. don't usually really like him because he's so <laughs> big, but yeah. um, he's being good right now. Maya must have a, a nice presence about her because <laughs> he's just watching. <laughs> yeah, he's very well behaved. I mean, most other dogs would bark and bark and she'd probably be petrified by now. No, he'll just, he'll just <laughs> sit and stare at her and he really wants her to pay attention to him. Oh. <laughs> Maya, are you shy? But okay. I don't know if we'll get him to look at the camera or not because hi, he's going to be looking at Maya. <laughs> uh -huh. So, um, and what kind of dog is Sammy? So Sammy is a golden doodle, which oh. is a, uh, a crossbreed between a golden retriever mm -hmm. and a poodle. Mm -hmm. So his, um, his mom was a golden retriever and his dad was a poodle. Okay. And uh, so how did you end up getting Sammy? Well, he, well, Sammy is nine years old, and uh, my kids were clamoring for a dog. And mm -hmm. I grew up not having pets. My my dad was not a big pet lover of <laughs> having true. pets in the house, and so um, I kind of was used to not having a pet. So I really mm -hmm. fought it at first, but they they begged and begged, and so we decided to go for it. Um, but we did have some issues because we have. Um, some allergies in the family, oh, okay. and um, we wanted to make sure that no one was going to be allergic to the dog. Mm -hmm. So we found out about golden doodles, which actually have uh, poodle fur, uh, and well, poodles, I shouldn't say fur, it's hair, it's, mm -hmm. it's regular hair instead of fur, mm -hmm. and so that's why they're considered hypoallergenic. They Usually people are not allergic to poodles because it's more like human hair. Mm, I've heard that. Yeah, poodles don't really make humans sneeze as much as other dogs. Right. So, so the even the crossbreed, the poodle hair is dominant, is the dominant gene, and so generally, most of the time, it's poodle hair. So, um, so we decided to look for a golden doodle. Okay. And Sammy comes from a farm in Texas. So the funny thing is, we also were thinking that we didn't really want a big dog. Mm -hmm. We wanted more like a mid-sized dog. Okay. So I know this really, to be honest with you, mm -hmm. I would love to have just gone to the pound and picked out a dog, mm -hmm. um, but it didn't really <laughs> turn out that way. We kind of had a designer dog. And so um, we got this this pet from, we got this uh, Sammy from this farm in Texas, mm -hmm. and he is a miniature golden doodle. Oh, he doesn't look <laughs> miniature though. <laughs> I know, something went wrong. <laughs> um, the joke is that uh, even the miniatures are big in Texas <laughs> because yeah, we Texas got him. Yeah. yeah, we got him, and uh, he just kept getting bigger and bigger. And he was only supposed to be like 35 pounds, mm -hmm. and he's 67 pounds. Wow, that's more than twice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you know, but of course you have him then, and okay. he 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 was small for like I always say he was small for about eight minutes. Oh. <laughs> he just kept getting bigger. Um, and then we just said, well, more to love. <laughs> so he, he is technically a miniature golden doodle, which means he was bred with a miniature poodle. Mm -hmm. But something along the way went wrong. But that's uh -huh. okay, because we love him just as he is. And um, of course, now I'm completely attached to him and couldn't imagine not having a pet. Um, I know, pets <laughs> are great. <laughs> so did you have him as a puppy? Then? Yes, so he was flown to us, oh. and we got him when he was, I think, four months old, and he was only like this big, but I can barely remember it because he just grew so fast mm. that before we knew it, okay. he was 67 pounds. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so. so being such a big dog, uh, does he like to play any sports or 
swimming or anything like that? Um, he does like to swim. Mm -hmm. sw if, if there's water there, he'll go swimming. He's a good swimmer. You can, right. you know, throw a stick and he, he goes after it and mm -hmm. um, he's definitely not afraid of the water. Um, one time we took him in a canoe, he didn't like that at all. He oh. didn't like the feeling, I guess, of mm -hmm. being in a canoe. Um, so he's not a big um, ball dog like, you know, mm -hmm. some dogs just love fetching the ball. And yeah. he doesn't really like to play fetch. He only is, he really is more interested in other dogs. So if another dog has a ball and that's the game, then he'll play. But generally he likes to just run around with other dogs and... <laughs> He's <laughs> so fascinated by him. And he likes other cats too, I guess. <laughs> um, he does, but, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, your cat is very brave. Um, and if there's a cat that doesn't know how to, you know, defend herself, then mm -hmm. he will just kind of keep chasing it. He, do he doesn't want to hurt the cat. Mm -hmm. he, wants the, he wants to play with the cat. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, he's way too big. <laughs> oh, cats yeah. don't want to play with him. <laughs> I know. I thought Maya would be pretty much intimidated by his size. I don't yeah. know. She's she's very. She doesn't even seem to. Well, what he'll what he will do, which is kind of funny, when uh -huh. he when he tries to play with cats, or if he wants to play with a smaller dog, mm -hmm. he gets down really low. I think he he's trying to make himself smaller. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't really fool anybody, but mm -hmm. he he definitely tries. It. In fact. Um, we have a clip. Oh, great. <laughs> well, so Haley, who works at MATV, she's mm -hmm. the Educational Access Coordinator, yeah. she took care of Sammy um, for a week when I was away, and mm -hmm. she's got a cat. And her cat is very brave, because her cat doesn't even have claws. Oh, okay. And um, she, she is completely unafraid of Sammy, and Sammy followed her everywhere the whole week. Um, wow. and would often try to make himself small. And so she, she videotaped it, so I brought the clip so you can see. Oh yeah, let's roll the clip. <laughs> the clip. Sammy is just following Kiki everywhere. Wherever Kiki goes, Sammy follows. Oh, Sammy sits down so he looks a little smaller, hoping that he would play with him. There he is looking at this. Yeah. That was adorable, <laughs> man. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that with us. Well, it was thank Haley. She was she took all these great pictures of him and Wonderful. and Kiki together. They they have a they have a nice little relationship. He, oh, he got her a great. Christmas present, some, some um, catnip and nice. 